Chapter 1, Goatee. When I was in preschool, I had a teacher named Star Lily. She wore rainbow tie-dye dresses and was always bringing, bringing in cookies that were made with granola and flax and had no taste. Star Lily taught us to sit still at snack time, sneeze into our elbows, and not eat the Play-Doh, which most kids seemed to think was optional. Then one day, she sent all of us home with the goldfish. She got them at 10 for a dollar at a pet store. She gave our parents a lecture before sending us off. The goldfish would teach your children about the cycle of life, she explained. Goldfish don't last very long. I took my goldfish home and named it Goldie like every other kid in the world who thought they were being original. But it turns out that Goldie was kind of original because Goldie didn't die. Even after my classmates fish had gone to the great fishbowl in the sky, Goldie was still alive. Still alive when I started kindergarten. Still alive in first grade. Still, still alive in second grade. And third. And fourth. Then finally, last year in fifth grade, I went into the kitchen one morning and saw my fish floating upside down in the bowl. My mom groaned when I told her. He didn't last very long, she said. What are you talking about? I asked. He lasted seven years. She gave me a smile and said, Ellie, that wasn't an original Goldie. The first fish only lasted two weeks. When he died, I bought another one and put it in the bowl. There has been a lot of fishes over the year. What number was this one? Unlucky number 13, she said with a weary look. They were all unlucky, I pointed out. We gave Goldie 13 a toilet bowl funeral and I asked my mom, if I, my mom if we could get a dog. Chapter 2, Puzzles. We live in a house that looks like a shoebox. It has two bedrooms and a bathroom, which has a toilet that always gets clogged. I secretly think it's haunted by all the fishes that we flush down it. Our backyard is tiny, just a slab of concrete that barely fits a table and chair. It's the reason my mom won't let me get a dog. She says it wouldn't be fair that dog needs a real yard to run around in. My babysitter, Nicole, walks into the kitchen where I'm putting together a puzzle. It's kind of taken over our table. You've been working on that forever, Eli, she says. How many pieces is it? One thousand, I said. It's a picture of New York City, a street scenes with yellow cabs. I love puzzles. I like, I like trying to figure out how things fit together, how the curve meets a curve in the perfect angle of a corner piece. I'm going to be on Broadway someday, she tells me. Nicole has long buttery hair and looks like she should be in a shampoo commercial. She played Juliet in the production of Romeo and Juliet that my mother directed at the local high school. My mom's a high school drama teacher, and my dad's an actor. They got divorced when I was little, but they're still friends. They're always telling me I need to find my passion. Specifically, they like me to be passionate about theater, but I'm not. Sometimes I wonder if I was born into the wrong family. Being on stage makes me nervous. I watch too many actors flub their lines, and I'm not a fan of working behind the scenes either. I always end up streaming costumes. Oh yeah, your mom called. She's going to be late, Nicole said. Almost as an afterthought, she adds, something to do with getting your grandfather from the police. For a second, I think I heard wrong. What? I asked. Is he okay? She lifted her shoulder. She didn't say, but she said we could order a pizza. And half an hour later, my belly is full of pizza, but I'm still confused. Did my mom say anything about why Grandpa was with the police, I asked. Nicole looked mystified. No. Does he get in trouble a lot? I shake my head. I don't think so. I mean, he's old, I said. How old is he? I'm not sure. I never really thought about it, actually. He just looks old to me. Wrinkled, gray hair, holding a cane. Your basic grandparent. We only see him two or three times a year, usually at a Chinese restaurant. He always orders a mugu gai pan, steals packets of soy sauce to make to take home. I often wonder what he does with them. He doesn't live that far from us, but he and my mother don't get along very well. He's a scientist and says theater isn't a real job. 
He's still mad that she didn't go to Harvard like he did. A car alarm goes off in the distance. Maybe it was in a car accident, Nicole suggested. I don't know why teen teens get a bad rep because, because old people are way worse drivers. He doesn't drive anymore. Maybe he wandered off, Nicole taps her head. My neighbor has Alzheimer's. She got out all the time. The police always brought her home. It kind of sounds like she's describing a dog. That's so sad, I said. Nicole nods, totally sad. The last time she ran away, she got hit by a car. How crazy is that? I stared at her with my mouth open. But I'm sure your grandfather is fine, she said. Then she flipped back her hair and smiled. Hey, want to make some popcorn and watch a movie?